this video I'm going to show you how to use radio buttons effectively. Uh, the most effective use of them is probably to be used with logical fields. However, you can use them with uh, text fields that are validated from a list. Uh, you can't really use them for something that's validated from a table because that table data might change and would cause problems for your radio buttons. Uh, but in our case, what I'm going to show you is how to flip true-false using uh, two radio buttons. As you can see in your standard controls down here in the form view, uh, you'll see the radio buttons located. And what you do is you just drag a radio button onto your form. And it just gives you radio value and the button itself. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just drag two up here. Uh, I'm using a random field uh, that's already included with Incident uh, in version 4.3. And uh, what I will do is I will change these radio values to yes and no. I'm going to go ahead and move this guy up so they're a little bit closer. I have some good aesthetics there. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a label over top of these to denote the uh, field that I'm working with. And I'll just, because I'm kind of lazy, drag the actual, uh, actually no I won't, um, I will drag a label onto the screen and in that label I'm going to just put the title of the field that I'm going to be determining using the radio buttons. Now again, this is just fairly random so you can use this with any uh, field that is either from a validated list or is a logical field. Now what I need to do is decide that these radio buttons actually uh, relate back to that CI critical logical field. Uh, so the way I do that is just to right click on one of the controls and click on control properties. And as you can see, it asks you to associate the field. In this case, I want it CI critical. And then because it's a logical field, it just gives me true false here. If it was a text field, it would ask me to type text in. In this case, since I say yes, I want it to be true. And I have to do it for the other radio button as well. CI critical. And since I click no, I want it to be false. And there you have it. Now if I click on the yes, it will make it true. If I click on the no, it will make it false. And they are mutually exclusive, so both radio buttons cannot be selected at the same time.